This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Domain.com. All right, as a big fan of Sony and Huawei, I've been pretty excited about two phones that just came out, the Sony Xperia Z5 and the Huawei Mate S. How do they compare to the competition? Let's check it out. It's no surprise here that Sony is now the big winner when it comes to pixel count, at least with the 4K premium model. The 5.5 inch 4K display delivers a whopping 808 pixels per inch, trouncing the 508 pixels per inch of the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, and the LG G4's 538 pixels per inch. However, the benefits of a QHD display over a 1080p display is already debatable. While the 5.5 inch 1080p display of the Mate S may not sound groundbreaking, it does come with an insanely high 1.8 million to one contrast ratio, providing the crisp blacks and wide color gamut that we come to associate with AMOLED displays. If display clarity is high on your priority list, the Xperia Z5 technically tops the rankings, although you won't be disappointed with a QHD resolution phone either. Just remember, native 4K content is gonna eat into the Z5's storage space also. Speaking of which, the Xperia Z5 range comes with 32 gigabytes of internal storage, pretty much the minimum for a high-end model. This matches up with other handsets in this price range, and the microSD card slot supports up to 200 gigabytes of extra storage, should you need it. The Mate S and Edge 6 Edge Plus offers options with the most built-in storage, but you'll miss out with a micro SD card slot if you opt for a Samsung phone. As for processing performance, the Xperia range features a high-end Snapdragon 810 that competes with other smartphones in this price segment. The Adreno 430 GPU looks like it might struggle to render native 4K games, so I imagine some form of upscaling will take place when using Sony's X-Reality Pro technology. The Xperia Z5 Compact still stands out as one of the few small form factor phones to offer flagship level performance. The Mate S and its Curin 935 processor is the weakest link here, as the phone doesn't feature any high performance A57 cores for heavy lifting, and the Mali T628 MP4 is not particularly high end these days. However, the octa-core chip is no slouch and will easily handle your day-to-day -day tasks and gaming on a 1080p display. It's just not the choice for those who have to have the very fastest tech. Of course, the Samsung Exynos 7420 is still the processor to beat this year, although it's only mildly faster than the Snapdragon 810 handsets. The S6 Edge Plus is the only phone on our list to come with 4GB of RAM. But again, the real-world performance benefits are marginal, if any. Both of yesterday's announcements from Huawei and Sony have resulted in very promising smartphones, although they are perhaps aimed at slightly different customers. Sony's premium 4K display may be a bit of a gimmick, but the rest of the Xperia Z5 hardware is very solid and completely competes, and in some ways exceeds, other flagships on the market right now. The Huawei Mate S doesn't quite match up with other flagships when it comes to processing power, but its high contrast display, fingerprint scanner, and range of storage options helps to set it apart from the pack which is important, as Huawei can't claim to have a major price advantage with the Mate S this time. What do you guys think? Personally, I'm partial to Sony. It was the best smartphone I had before I smashed it. I had the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact. I would get the Z5 Compact as my next phone if I could. I've had LG's, Motorola's, Samsung, and Sony was my favorite phone. What about you guys? What phone would you get on the list if you could. Now, if you guys are starting any business or freelancing, you need your own website and you need your own .com because if you're not, you're giving the other guy who has the .com free traffic. Why? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same level of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. And who doesn't want more credibility? You can save 15% on domain name and web hostings when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. Don't forget, 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace. Love to connect with you right here on Google Plus or Twitter, and I will follow you in the comments below. Don't forget about my brothers and sister in Android who are working super hard to be your source for all things Android.